Sheriffs in riot gear have been standing guard all day as protesters say they just want to be heard and they had no intention of inciting violence. Tensions were high in Huntington Beach as police and sheriffs stood shoulder to shoulder. On one side, Black Lives Matter protesters. On the other side, a crowd of opposing protesters saying they're trying to defend Huntington Beach. Now, there were about 500 people here. That's our estimate, maybe more. And they were on both sides of PCH. And boy, were they split. When they got together, there were some uh, skirmishes there, a lot of screaming and yelling. They definitely were not, not on the same page. There should be a peaceful protest, no rioting. Don't let them take over your city. It's Huntington Beach. We ain't having it. Not in our town, homie. In order to kind of bring, bring back the respect to law enforcement, to police, that you were actually going to become a police officer. So I guess, one, are you serious, Tito? Do you intend to actually become a police officer? Being a police officer is is incredible responsibility, and it takes an incredibly powerful person to do it and not abuse the power that you have. This week on Tito Ortiz Uncaged, we go to downtown Huntington Beach to make sure we keep the peace. It's nice to see the MMA community coming out and defending their cities. John Jones did an amazing job of ripping spray cans out of some of the Antifa kids' hands. Thank you very much, John Jones. You're an amazing man. And then Chuck Liddell comes down to Huntington Beach, to my town. Thank you, Chuck. The first protest they had, he kept the peace. Jay Silva, one of my sparring partners, a great fighter, I called him the night before and I said, Jay, will you come stand next to me? He said, 100%, I'm there. You know, I think as being pro fighters, uh, we're able to calm things down really quick. I mean, people gotta understand, before I used to fight, I was a security guard at a bar and I would keep the peace. And to de-escalate everything completely is important. If you try to get hatred and hatred and battle against each other, it's just gonna escalate to just violence. But it wasn't long before a fight broke out between the two sides. Several protesters throwing punches and knocking one another to the ground. But most people stayed peaceful, focusing instead on a message of nonviolence, standing against police brutality. So when I walked down there on a Saturday, my job was to keep the peace. My job was to protect our buildings, our businesses, our small businesses. That was my job. Any fights broke out, the police would do their job. If guys on, on my side would try to start fights or incite anything, I would back them down. I would tell them to stop. That was my job. So on uh, Monday, uh, I got an Instagram story of uh, someone saying, Tito, check this out. Antifa's gonna come down and burn down your city. And um, I'm okay with protesters. I have no problem with protesters. But what I am not okay with is terrorists uh, in this country. And I'll fight for this city. This is, uh, this is my hometown. I was born and raised here 45 years, and uh, I'm here with my boys, and we're making sure peace will continue to, to be here in this city. No one ain't gonna mess with the city. I'm in the middle of both. You know, I have protesters, good. Do it peacefully. People on our side who are here for Huntington Beach, who are here for America, and they're screaming back and forth, I'll do my job also. I try to talk them down. Come on, man. I'm on your side. You fight on your See, that guy got a flag. See, he's American. He got a flag. That's good. Raise some American flag. You're protesting for that. You'd all still be in high school right now, right? And there's many situations during the day that that happened. But at the end of the day, it truly was about protecting my city, making sure they didn't crash the windows at Huntington Serpent Sport or the small business next to that making sure they didn't walk downtown Main Street, smashing buildings and windows and smashing everything and burning it down. That was not happening. How could I do this to make sure the police don't think that we're part of the protesters or we're not a part of Antifa? So what I did was I made white shirts with HB Strong on them. And I told the officers, my group of guys will be wearing these shirts. I only made four dozen, but I come to realize that 
everybody else that was downtown, they all wanted one. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna make more. People go to punishment.com and all proceeds will go to HBPD because they did a tremendous job over the last two weeks to defend our city, to make sure the protesters protested in a peaceful manner. And they did that. So I made this shirt, HB strong, because we're strong as hell, and we showed it the last two weeks. And all proceeds go to Huntington Beach Police Department. So during the day, um, as I was standing in front of Huntington Surfing Sport, there was a guy selling shirts that said, Huntington Beach will defend. And it had uh, M14 on it. Why would you put something of a gun on a shirt for someone we're trying to protect? Yes, it's the Second Amendment. I believe in it. I'm a huge believer in it. But why not do something positive? Black or white? That's right. And they got the right, they got the right to protest. So you back off. So, so far, so good. Uh, peaceful protest is what we want. Nothing being peaceful. Um, that's what this city's about. So uh, it's a little early, but we'll be here for the day. Making sure that uh, we continue to keep peace in the city. So I saw other shirts that said, welcome to Huntington Beach. Now get the f out. <laughs> Huntington Beach is a beautiful place. It's a beautiful city. It's paradise. This is my paradise. I'm here to protect it. I don't want anybody to get out. You're welcome to our city. Be peaceful. If you want to protest, do it peacefully. But don't try to incite violence. I get it. I understand on both sides. I was that white kid that was in a, hanging around a bunch of Mexicans that was called white boy and honky and white bread. But then I go and hang out with my white friends and all of a sudden I was wet back. I was border jumper. So I got two sides of a coin. I get it. I understand. There's a few bad cops, but I guarantee you about 95% to 96% of those police officers are good, honest police officers, a good, honest law enforcement, the ones that want to protect their cities. Nobody fall for your bullshit, race, race, crap. Life always comes full circle. Karma's a bitch and it bites everyone in the ass at the end of the day. So for all those bad cops out there, you'll be served. All the good cops out there, continue your job. You're doing an amazing job. I'm thankful. My family are thankful. Our community is thankful. And our country is very, very thankful. I stand with the men and women in blue. The good ones. People can understand, it's not us versus the police. The police protect us. When you called 911, what if there was never police officers? It would be gangs, it'd be vigilantes, be criminals. So as Americans, we need to come together and unite as one. Like I said, yes, black lives matter. Yes, brown lives matter. Yes, white lives matter. But let's make this about America. American lives matter. This is about we the people. United we stand, divided we fall. There's not gonna be any riots here today. Uh, and we're gonna make sure that, the police are gonna make sure that, and the sheriff's gonna make sure that, so. Honey Beach community, thank you very much for your support. 
Huntington Beach Police Department, thank you very much for the support. And uh, Orange County Sheriff, thank you very much for supporting Huntington Beach. We say the community come together. I wish uh, the rest of the nation would do the same. Peace matters. Peace matters. So you know I, I have a lot of gas still in this tank. I could fight for a few more years. And I will fight one more time this year for sure. I will fight one more time this year. But I think it's time to use that energy into something more productive for my community. So last Saturday, when I stood out in the sun for nine hours, I seen how the law enforcement handled things. And it sparked something in my mind. It sparked something in my heart. Of how much this country means to me. How much this city means to me. I'm not racist. None of my friends are racist. And at the end of the day, true thing needs to be, we need to, need to love each and every one of us. And uh, that's what it's about. And I think I'm gonna pursue a law enforcement role. I think it's important. I'm gonna do my duty as a civilian. But now, I'm gonna do it better. I'm gonna bring integrity back to police officers. All those bad cops, we're gonna get rid of them because there's so many good ones. And I'm gonna be one of them. Hit the subscribe button and the notification button. And I hope you enjoyed this ride because it's all for a good reason for our country that we love, America.